Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica and I make videos about lifestyle, motherhood, realness, and becoming your best self. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my February favorites. Now listen, February honestly felt so out of whack for me. It wasn't like the best month ever for me but it is not even February anymore. It is March 1st as I'm filming this and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that were actually good about this last month. Some of the things that helped me, that made my life better, that made me happier. And today I'm bringing you guys quality over quantity. I don't think that I have a bunch of things, but each of these things really did help me. I really did enjoy and I'm breaking it into four parts. There's skincare, books, podcasts, and then one random food favorite. So let's just get right into it. So the first skincare product that I wanted to share with you guys by the brand Thayer's. And this is the Blemish Clearing Cleanser with a Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula with 2% salicylic acid. And then I guess it's the lemon scent. This is what it looks like. I feel so tongue tied today. So it's a good thing I can just show you here it is, boom. So I've been using it as a cleanser. I haven't been wearing makeup very often, and so I found that this cleanser is gentle yet effective in clearing my skin. I have sensitive acne prone skin. That's, I guess, combination. And so this has been great. This has been good to me. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I changed up my skincare routine, and so this is part of it, and I've really enjoyed it, but. You know, I'm not a skincare person. Use at your own discretion. I know that everyone's skin is different, but this has been good to me. Next up, so we went over a cleanser. Now for a toner situation, a favorite of this month has been this Thayer's Witch Hazel Facial Mist that's unscented, and it's a Witch Hazel Mist. Now this, just quick backstory about this, I was using the one that has like cucumber. I don't know why I chose that one. Maybe I thought that cucumber would be soothing, but definitely go for the one, if you're gonna try this out, go for the one with the mister instead of the one that just has like the pouring situation. I find that this is much easier to use and you get like an even application of the toner all over your face it just dries really nicely and then the unscented has been like significantly more effective on my skin for calming my acne clearing it the unscented has been so much better to me than the cucumber so yeah Thayer's facial mist unscented witch hazel aloe vera, aloe vera formula I'll show you guys one more time And also, um, side note, this brand is royalty free, which is one of the reasons why I gravitated towards it. And it's also, you can find it in the drugstore. It's pretty affordable as well. It's not an arm and a leg to get a good skincare routine in my opinion. This is the Blemish Clearing Balm, which is a aloe vera formula with salicylic acid. So this is like the it's like the twin product of the cleanser. It's like the lemon and it, it goes hand in hand. So this product, I guess I'll just show you guys. It doesn't immediately spread super evenly. You have to work it into the skin. But once you get used to that, I feel like this is also a really nice, effective product. Um, it doesn't do anything weird on my skin. And I also wear sunscreen over it and I have you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I usually wear sunscreen over it because I go on walks outside and I've had no issues with it. Um, it's also, it's called a blemish clearing balm, which is really interesting. Like I don't see a lot of products like this, but I do use it basically in place of a moisturizer. So to me, it's been like my moisturizer that also helps me in the clearing acne department. So. I like this, I've been enjoying this. Again, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not giving you skincare advice, this is just what I've been enjoying. Yeah, let me know in a comment down below if you guys have tried Thayer's. I know that their witch hazel products are really, really popular. The first Thayer's product that I ever tried was one of their witch hazel toners. And then another skincare product that I've really been enjoying. Okay, guys, 
I really hope and pray that you have been wearing sunscreen daily. But if you haven't, um, that's okay. It's never too late. The sunscreen that I've been using is the Pacifica SPF 55 C and C Sheer Face Serum. I also gravitated towards this product because I was looking for a drugstore sunscreen that wasn't gonna break me out that was vegan and cruelty free and this one is cool i have no complaints about it it's not unscented it does have maybe like a orangey scent it's not too heavy and it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't break me out which was honestly one of the most important things for me when looking for a sunscreen pacifica i don't know Originally, I didn't really like them that much. No tea, no shade. I just didn't understand the price and the hype when it wasn't all that. But this sunscreen has been good. Um, I use a couple pumps of it before I go on a walk, before I go outside. I make sure I reapply it if it's been two hours since I first applied it and I'm going back outside. And yeah. No complaints there. Next up, okay you guys, so confession time. To kind of try to save money, I was buying the generic Target brand of body lotion. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. It's really cheap and it works, but um, it wasn't cruelty free, it wasn't vegan. And if possible, I really do try and go for products that are cruelty free and vegan. And for a body lotion, that seemed like even more essential to me. I don't wanna be just, trying to moisturize or rub on my skin something that I don't even feel 100% about. And so it was like I had to do a lot of reading and research about what lotion I was gonna get. But <laughs> that sounds like really dramatic about a lotion, but if moisturizing is important to you, then maybe you understand. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion in Unscented. So I guess the drama with this lotion, I bought it at Target by the way, and I believe that all the products that I mentioned so far can be found at Target. I was on the lookout one day for a cruelty-free vegan lotion that was like reasonably priced, really high quality or good quality, you know, gets the job done. And this is her, this is that, this is all the things, but I picked a different one by the same brand. I don't know, I don't think it was the unscented one. And when I finally got in the car, I was just double checking the back, I was reading the ingredients, and it said beeswax, and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I went on this whole journey to make sure that it was cruelty-free and vegan, and I got the wrong one. So, you know what I did? I got my baby and we went back into Target and I exchanged it for the unscented one which is confirmed plant-based and cruelty free. This is a very big bottle, it's 32 ounces and it's a very good lotion. It's very moisturizing. I, I'm gonna put some on my hands right now, my hands have been dry. And I didn't know what very emollient meant but now I think I do. It's a very like it just like melts into your skin like butter, not sponsored, but feel free to sponsor me, Alba Botanica. Okay. Also another fun fact, when I'm filming, for some reason, I'm always like sitting on my knees. And so at some point in filming, my legs just start to like cramp, fall asleep. And that's where I'm at. Moving on from skincare favorites, we're gonna move on to my book favorites of the month. Now, I just have too, but they've been good to me they've been valuable for me they found me so i guess the first one that i'm going to show you guys it's not one that i've ever seen anyone talk about um this is called mindfulness a practical guide by tessa watt and i bought this book years ago honestly um when i walked into barnes and noble and at the time i was struggling really bad with anxiety so i was looking for a book okay my legs my legs my legs as i was saying um, at the time, I had been struggling really bad with anxiety and I was looking for a book that would possibly help me. And at the time, I picked up the book, I think I read a couple pages and then I lost it and forgot about it and was what it was. And recently, I was like browsing the bookshelf that I have out in the loft and I saw it again and I grabbed it, I was just drawn to it. 
and I have been reading it more. I can't say that I've read it like cover to cover because this book is sectioned in such a way that you can kind of go to what applies to you and you don't necessarily need to read it chronologically and so I've been really enjoying a lot of chapters and parts of this book and I have um, been drawing some things, drawing on some things from this book that have been helpful for me and managing my anxiety, some mindset shifts that I have found valuable. So if you're on the market for a book about mindfulness and managing your anxiety, maybe give this one a go. I believe that I got this one, like I said, at Barnes and Nobles, but I'm sure it can be found many places online. The second book, okay, I have a story with this book. I have stories with a lot of things, I guess, but this book is called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. And my mom actually bought me this copy of this book, so thank you to her. And now I will give you a confession about this book, okay. This book, it was actually Plant-Based Princess. I will plug her channel right here. She had talked about this book in a few of her videos and I was like, wow. Whatever she was saying about it was resonating with me. The, the basis of it was resonating with me. I was like, wow, I gotta read this book. So I was determined and I just Googled it and I was able to find don't hate me okay I was able to find a PDF of it and honestly like the audiobook version of it here on YouTube like for free but I knew because I was really enjoying the contents of it that I wanted my own physical copy so I had actually told my mom that I was gonna go to the store to go get it I told her that I had been reading it and listening to it and I just really needed my own and she actually bought it for me so thank you to my mom if you're watching this thank you I love you I appreciate it and I'm halfway through this hardcover but I've I've already finished it and I do think it is a very practical guide that you can draw um, tangible things, tangible practices that you can immediately pull into your day-to-day -day life. And it's been an eye-opener. I think that it's an easy read. Um, if you're on a spiritual journey or a self-help journey or a self-love journey or a manifesting your dreams journey or accomplishing a goal journey, I recommend this one. It's been really good and it's really beautifully written, honestly. I like the way that Deepak Chopra writes, so I think that I'm going to be getting into more of his books in the near future. For podcasts, let me just say that if you're not new here, you already know I love podcasts and the all the podcasts that I mentioned in my podcast video, which I will leave in the description box below, I still have been loving all of those podcasts through the month of February, but also in addition to those, I have been loving the Self Love Fix podcast by Beatrice Kamau. I mentioned that in my last YouTube video, but I just wanna show that podcast and her some love right here. That's a great podcast about exactly what it sounds like. Self love, empowerment. She has an emphasis on codependency, which I never felt that I honestly identified with until I realized that a lot of the messages of this podcast really resonated with me. So all labels aside, if it can help you, I think that it's a value to talk about. The Self Love Fix podcast, I listen to my podcasts on the Apple Podcast app, so it exists there. Another podcast that I have been loving that I don't think... I mentioned in my podcast video is the On Purpose podcast by Jay Shetty, an honorable mention to the one that came out today. I have like, it's been a while since I got this excited about seeing like the podcast pop up because he did a podcast with Big Sean and I was like, oh my gosh, it just made me that much more excited to go on my morning walk because I knew that I was going to get to listen to something good and it did not disappoint. So go listen to it. It's also on YouTube, so you can watch and listen to it. That was like music to my ears. If you're a big Sean fan, 
um, I think that you're in for a treat and that podcast is just really great in general I think that Jay Shetty is wonderful in general and I believe oh no no that doesn't that's not everything I have one random food favorite and I had like a little bit I was thinking about the things that I've been eating and I didn't want to include any food favorites that I could like really ride for I didn't want to lead you guys astray like I know that people don't play about their food people don't play about their food so I wasn't gonna mention anything mediocre and then leave you guys disappointed but you know what's worth mentioning it's super random but honestly it's good this hemp hearts granola okay like i've been eating a lot of yogurt bowls i'll have a vegan yogurt and i'll get the unsweetened kind just picture it and then to sweeten it i'll put some maple syrup mix it in and then i'll add like in a perfect world some sliced fresh banana and then i'll add frozen blueberries frozen blueberries are my favorite in granola i mean in yogurt bowls and then i'll add some granola on a good day it's like a healthy helping and then i'll even do mm, either peanut butter or almond butter and it's perfect that's like my my go-to snack lately is yogurt bowls and then you gotta have this hemp hearts granola you could buy this at target um it's the nature's path organic brand I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe you can try some of these things out if you're on the market for any of them. Let me know in a comment down below if you guys end up trying these things out. And I hope you guys have a really good month of March moving forward. If you didn't have a great February, know that you're not alone and we could leave the past in the past and move on and have a really wonderful, prosperous month this month. So I'm sending you guys all my love and light. As always, I'm hoping you guys are staying healthy and safe. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss my next video. Bye, you guys.